Well, between dress shopping and picking out flowers, few brides-to-be give thought to how their financial situation will change after they get married. So we've brought in financial expert Clark Hodges to help us answer some of those tough questions like whether we should have separate accounts or a joint account. I'm getting married next spring. So this is a, this is a realistic question. You know, I say it's okay to have a separate account. Yeah. If you love the person you're marrying, you want them to have some money that they can do their special thing with. Go play golf, go on a girl's trip, what have you. So mm -hmm. I think that's healthy. Um, be honest about it, though, and, and understand that you've got to you let the other person know that you've got this account. I keep separate accounts. Uh, from my, my wife and I keep separate accounts. But there's no... Do you do like a joint account that you pay the household expenses from? No. no. Okay. But so how does that work, though, that if, if we're going to set up, you know, household expenses where, where, everyone, where we're both pitching in, but we have separate accounts, do you just assign certain bills to one or the other? In my household, what we do is w I take care of writing all the checks and getting everything paid, but I communicate with her so she knows what's being paid, mm -hmm. how much it is. That's the key to me, that the other person in the relationship knows what the mortgage is, what the, the you know, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Because there is a point in every marriage and every life where either there's a death or a divorce, and then all of a sudden you don't know what are all these bills we have. Where we are where, with everything, you know, yeah. yeah. So you need to communicate and keep the other person involved, even though they're not physically going on the bank account and writing the checks or what right. have you. They know what it costs to live there. They know what it costs to have cable and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you are getting married and you're maybe a little bit older and you've had some independence, some financial independence, what sort of things do those brides need to be prepared for when they get married? Well, there's a... In my situation, and maybe in yours, but in my situation, I got married seven years ago. She has two boys, and I had a daughter going into the marriage. We already had expenses for those kids, yeah, and we kept them all separate. So she kept doing things for her boys, and I kept doing things for my daughter because that's how we as adults, mm -hmm. you know, we're living our lives. So I think it's healthy to keep that arrangement, but once again, communicate. Yeah. And just know that, you know, as a grown adult, you're kind of setting your ways in a lot mm -hmm. of, in a lot of issue in a lot of segments of life and, and paying bills is one of them. What about when it comes to investing together as a couple to to build like a joint nest egg? Yeah, that's important. I mean, in in the state of Texas everything's half, right? Every, you know, mm -hmm. everything's half and half. So, um, but it's important to communicate about that. But communicate what we've done real good in my family is investing for ourselves but also for the kids college. Right. Okay, even though we got together later in life and some of the kids were grown up a little bit, putting money aside for the kids' college is real important. And we do that jointly, and we do that as a team, and no, no child gets more than any other child in their account. Now, what if the, the bride wants to invest in a certain fund because maybe her dad or her mom has told her, you know, this is really great, you should do this, this is what we did. Um, but he's got other ideas because of the way that he was raised and the things that his parents did. How do you bring those two ideas together without killing each other? Right, well, after the fight, you make up and then you talk <laughs> about the fact that, you know, you need to listen to the other person and listen to their life experiences. Where did she or he come from? Why do they think this is such a good idea? And then have them do the same with you. That's just, that's just called marriage. You need yeah. to understand that they see it this way and that they grew up around this particular side of the investment, then they understand it. But it, it is a challenge because what if he's, he or she's wrong and the money right. doesn't grow or they lose some of the money? Then it's like, told you so, you're never yeah. getting a crack again and at making an problem. investment. But it's, it's just like anything else. you got to team up. you got to take your lumps. you got to take the victories with the defeats. Don't be taking a victory lap if you get a good one. And don't say, I told you so, if somebody happens. Because that's investing. That's so let's, let's back it up a little bit to before the wedding. Um, and there are wedding expenses. What would you say to couples who are planning their wedding together? They, they're going to be paying for it, not the parents. Is there a way to split up the cost of it or... or a, a, something that they need to communicate to one another? I think that's where you set up a joint account, maybe a temporary joint account, mm -hmm. and throw a certain amount of money in there on a regular basis, and that's the wedding fund. And when you or he has an expense, they can go to that account and pay it. And you know that's what it's for. And then right. after the marriage is done, maybe close that account. But I think mm -hmm. it'd be probably healthy to set up a joint account then and let all that be paid out of it. Um, because there's going to be a lot of issues. And in my opinion, 
the guy just needs to sit back and let it happen. Um, let, let the wife. Wait, say that again, what? The guy just needs to sit back and let it happen. Did y'all hear that? Happy Are wife, happy Scott? life, right? <laughs> and you're, you're getting into that and um, it's her day, you know? Yeah. Just oh, you meant you, just for the wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah. I meant or in the general. Planning. Oh, well, I meant in life. Trust me, in life. Happy <laughs> wife, happy life. I know that for sure. Clark, thank you so much for sharing these tips with us. Um, if you still have questions about what's right for you before you walk down the aisle and even after, give Clark a call. You can find his number on our website at thebroadcasttv.com. Just click on today's links. He's got lots of great advice about how to invest your money. And we have more broadcast right after this.